Cool. Welcome to Inky Inspiration. My name is Jeremy. Today we're going to draw a couple things. Um, if you'd like to draw along with me, grab a pen or a pencil, some paper, whatever you have handy, and uh, you can just copy along, or you could draw your own thing. It doesn't really matter, as long as you have fun and enjoy it. As always, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by... Ooh, I'm going to turn some music down a little bit. I'm going to make sure that today... I'm going to make extra sure about my output on my stream. That way, nothing gets cut off or anything like that. It should be good. should all be okay. Um, like always, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little warm-up doodle. Um... And it's always nice to do something. I don't know why I have this little duck here, but I'll put him right here for now, right in the corner, so you can watch. So I found this envelope um, in my desk. Um, I got this desk from from uh, my great aunt, and I uh, just found that this envelope in here. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do my warm up drawing on this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna decorate it, make it look nice. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with something. I'm gonna do like a kind of like a, and I don't know what you would call it. I'm gonna do this. Draw a nice big line up here. Make a rounded kind of bulb at the top. Bring it back down. We're gonna make like a little bulb down here. There we go. So if you're having trouble starting a drawing, I found the best thing to do is just like just put a shape down. <coughs> oh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm gonna be coughing a lot today. I have kind of a cold. Mm. I have some ginger and lemon tea instead of coffee to kind of help my throat but if I cough a lot that's the reason why I'm just feeling a little sick got it from my kid <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you're having trouble starting a drawing just sometimes you can even just close your eyes and just draw some random thing in the middle and uh, you know that just gets you started it gets you gets you going so we're gonna draw I like the shape what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another one here and make it also kind of bulgy here at the top maybe a little bit less bulgy though and you know what we'll do three um, Although we're kind of running out of room, so what I think it's going to do is it's going to be more like this. Kind of like a, like a cashew shape. Let's do some on the other side too. Give it a little bit of asymmetrical balance. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> There's our weird beginning shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some circles inside here. Make this one's going to be kind of like an oval, very long. Put some little circles down here. Hmm. Let's put a little one right there. Alright, so that's looking like a thing so far. Not bad. I mean, it doesn't look like anything specifically. So, that's okay. What do you think, Duck? He's cool. 
I feel like each time I stream, I have a different like wound on my hand. Like uh, last week, I had a big burn on my finger, and then I had cat scratches on my hands, and now I have like this part right here where uh, I basically peeled the skin off my hand on my um my laundry basket. <laughs> that was not fun. All right, so let's do something to fill in these circles. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to draw like some lines, make them kind of swoopy, and so that's all. Nothing too complicated, really. I'm trying a different tactic for my music. I have it downloaded onto my phone and then playing through my phone without the internet so that way or without um yeah, without the internet that way it doesn't use up my um my Wi-Fi and my router power. <laughs> Let's see. Down here is gonna have to be a little make it small, we'll make some straight lines on these ones. And for these little dots, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to put a dot in the middle. <coughs> yeah, that's not bad looking. Put a lot of lemon in my tea. A little bitter. <laughs> Let's see. Usually I make this in or my first warm up drawing into like a title card. So I guess I should do that. I should put my name in there somewhere. And grab a different color real quick. use this blue. I like blue. We'll put the other part of the title down here at the bottom. Oh. I wonder how old this this envelope is. It's a little dirty. I N S I S P I R A T I O N. I hope I give myself enough room. Some, some different colors here. I guess I'm doing shades of blue. Ooh, that works. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in spots here. It's nice, nice color. It's like blue and violet together. Hmm. I like it. Let's color in over here. And let's see, let's put it some right here too. I 
the color in this whole circle. And down here, we'll do this part and this part. Okay. You watch those pins, duck. Let me see. Next, we gotta add something in the background. We gotta make some room. Or, fill some room, fill some space here. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Mm. So what I think I'm going to do is, actually I'm not going to use, I'm going to do the black first. I'm going to make just some kind of weird shapes. Some squiggles. I'll make them sort of Look like they're coming out from the uh, behind this 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 middle thing. And that's it's like a some sort of nebulous cloud. Maybe. We'll put one bit of it kind of like coming out over here. And a little bit up here in the corner too. Okay, so that's the first part. Then what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to sort of divide up the space inside like this. Sort of break up, break up the uh, break up the eye line it's looking all right I think what we need to do is give it a little bit of color here in the background. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be talking as much today as I normally do. <clears throat> fill the whole thing in because I like the kind of the, I like how the white looks compared to these colors let me see I think I'm gonna do it kind of this angle right here so we'll just do some lines instead of filling it in I don't think that looks bad And 
let's do this one last space right here with this color. this guy up here there and then we'll use this really light kind of blue green going to yeah I'm probably gonna talk a little bit less this time um, today or talk slower maybe I'm trying to think for these other spots maybe I should fill these spots in with the pen um, I think I should because I think if I do lines again then um, I think it'll blend in too much with these ones with the texture on these but if I leave it too empty it'll blend in too much with this thing in the middle idea but I already committed to filling it in circles would have been really good dots might have been a little bit too much but circles would have been good After I do this part, what I'm going to need to do, or what I think I'm going to do, is use the black and um, make some of the lines a little bit thicker. Um, especially for this middle shape thing. But I, I could have just outlined these, I guess, but I think I like the way they look colored in. What I should have done is give this whole the shape in the middle like a nice thick black um, outline around the whole thing. Um, that would have been a good idea. I don't think I quite understand what you're saying. I mean, really, I think you you want me to add in shading somewhere to make something seem like it's floating. Um, under the white purple that goes over the light green, like these things. You want me to add shading under these, these little like things like that?
I just want to make sure I understand what you mean before I do anything. Like the white purple parts are floating over the light green. So add a dark green shadow onto the green you have now, but just an outside of the black line. So the white purple parts, this, I guess it might look different on, on the computer. This was like a, like an aqua color. So is this what you mean by the white purple parts? Um, okay. So I should put some dark green like around here to make this middle, these long middle shapes look like they're above the background part. Okay, but not on the striped part. Okay, I think I can do that. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. I need to get some like Dayquil or something. <laughs> I think I have some. I might go get a little bit in a minute after I finish this part. Well, this this drawing that is. drink some my tea <sighs> okay so I think I understand what you mean Okay, maybe I don't understand what you mean. I'm not sure how to do it on the stripes.
Um, Let's say use a pencil. You can't really like blend that much with uh, like the dark gray or the gray I have. Like, cause if there is, if the white parts of the stripes were in shadow, they'd be kind of like gray. But the only gray sharpie I have is pretty dark. So um, it might be too much. I don't know, I might have to get it because this doesn't look too great with just the pencil. See, I think I want to make the background black. Um, but I don't want to cover up my um, my lines here. Although maybe if I make the background black it'll look it'll just be too dark. I'm worried about specifically this part right here. If I make the background black this will look too thin, I think. Hmm. No, I think I'll do it. The black ground. <laughs> If it does turn out to be too much, well then, that's okay because it's just one drawing. But I'm in the, kind of in the mood to just fill in space today. I feel like just filling in areas. <laughs> um, maybe it's because it's kind of simple to do. You don't have to worry about shading or anything. Just have one color and you just have to 
use it. print on the you might not be able to see it but I guess I got too much or I put my finger on some of the ink that was still black and I ended up putting fingerprints here and here So I hope you out there watching are having a good lead up to the good holiday season. It's it's weird if you think about it. I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Um and Christmas. And that's like the exact opposite of what we really should be doing. <laughs> It seems like no matter how many Christmas movies we make about, you know, understanding what the true meaning of Christmas is and that kind of thing, people, everybody tends to get carried away. But it's still fun. It's fun nonetheless. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's the reason why I like Christmas so much is because everybody sort of gets into it. A little Christmas season. It's like the front of like a travel brochure, like a, maybe like an art museum guide. <laughs> it have like the map on the inside to help you figure out where you want to go. Hmm, not bad. I think maybe it would have looked better if I'd have left the outside white, but hmm, that looks okay. I think you're right about these shadows. I think they, they look nice. I think they look better on the camera than they do uh, in real life. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Maybe because it makes everything a little bit less, uh, a little bit more blurry, a little less. Um, Sharp. Hi there, welcome. <laughs> so that was our first sort of warm up picture. Um, <clears throat> I'm take some of my tea real quick to help my throat. Oh, goodness. All right, so now we got to move on to some other stuff. I like it. it. Didn't turn out too bad. Grab my big, uh, my big notebook. All right. So last week, somebody suggested that I this week, since I was going to switch to a different, um, a different uh, 
fandom, I guess you'd say, that I should do uh, art from the video game Undertale, which um, actually the music that I'm playing today is uh, from that game, but <laughs> I've uh, never played it before, and I don't know too much about it, so I spent uh, the weekend like looking up, let's see, like looking up like Let's Plays, walkthroughs of it, things like that. Um, <coughs> to kind of think of an idea of what to draw. And I kind of had, I think, I think I kind of had one idea, at least, that I can work with. Let's see. So, I've only seen pretty much the beginning of the game. Um, but, in the beginning of this, you find a, uh, the spider bake sale. It's um, just like some spider webs, and uh, and to the spider bake sale. If you drop, leave some gold coins in the spider webs, they'll they'll give you some uh, spider baked goods, baked by spiders, you know, out of spiders, and it's made. The money goes for spiders. So I think I'm gonna try to draw something like that. Now I'm not exactly sure what to um how one would go about drawing a spider bake sale. But I think what I need to do first is uh, I think I need to do a, a, a sign first so people those walking up will understand what it is. So we're gonna make our wooden sign. Oh my gosh. Cat. Oh. <laughs> you out of here. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Let's see, knock my camera a bit. My cat's very friendly and he always wants to be like the center of attention. Usually I lock them out of the room, um, but today I didn't think about it and now he's sticking his paw under the door trying to get in <laughs> Chara dreamer the child um, thanks for joining us have you ever played Undertale before we're doing it really rough right now And if you have, what is your favorite part in it? Making the sun way too tall. It's going to take up too much paper if I do. Make it look like we are. Um, I want to make it look like we're like looking at the sign and we can see the spider bake sale in the background. sign going right now. Make it ever so slightly three-dimensional. Is this still from the game? Oh yeah, I guess so. It sounds like uh, Rugrats to me. Or maybe Banjo Kazooie. Let's see, we gotta finish the rest of the. I'm gonna assume that the sign or the post comes up behind the sign a little bit. Now I'm just doing this real rough right now. Get like a rough idea of where everything is going to be. That'll be what the sign is. Let's see, I'm gonna do or my spider web here. Alright, 
So in the game, there's like a tiny spider web, and then there's like a bigger one. So that's what we'll do is we'll put we'll put our spider webs. Make this one a little bit smaller. Let's see, we'll make the, um, that's where the wall will be. We'll make our bigger spider web over here. I moved my little duck so you couldn't see him. <laughs> so, this is where our bigger spider web is. It's kind of coming down over the, uh, the corner of the wall. Like I said, this is just really rough right now. <laughs> um, you know what? If you'll give me just one second, let's see if this doesn't help. Make it a little brighter. Nope, it does not help at all. <laughs> there, that's a little bit better. Was not a fan of those um those lines. I still think my cat knocked my camera out from where I had it nicely positioned. <laughs> okay, so those are the basics of our spider webs. Now let's see. The spider bakery or the spider bake sale and had uh, two things for sale. One it had a spider donut. And the other was a jug of spider cider. Um, so I think what in this picture what we're going to have is we're going to have um, our gold coins. We're going to have our gold coins already tossed into the net here, or into the spider web here. Um, let's see, what should we make them look like? I'm not sure that you ever actually see the gold coins in the game. So I think I'm going to make them look like... Uh, You know, it kind of look like the gold coin on top of Meowth's head in Pokemon. I don't know why I decided to make him that shape, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Although I probably need to make him smaller if I'm going to fit. I think it's eight in there, but I think I'm only going to draw five. Um... Um, just for... I think it would just look better. So we're going to have our gold coins there. So we paid for one spider donut. We'll have our spider coming down here in the middle. And it's holding on to the spider donut for us. Bringing it, bringing it to us. Hmm. Gotta make it kind of look like it has a little bit of depth to it. You don't want to eat a flat spider donut. Those are not, not as tasty. Well, like I said, this is rough. <laughs> it's looking pretty dumb. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, so back to our sign here. I think I want to make it look like slats of wood that were put together. So, first we're going to make our segments.
And now we're going to sort of make them look like they're not quite lined up perfectly. We're going to make them uh, have some space, space in between them and stuff. I'm assuming that the spiders put this together, put the sign together. So maybe their craftsmanship isn't that, isn't super great when it comes to a uh, comes to wood. We'll say that. All right. Besides, it's also in a cave. I'm not sure how you get wood when you're inside of the cave, or inside of the ruins rather so so I'm assuming the wood for the sign might be a uh, fairly beaten and worn down It'll make the sides a little bit more rounded I think There, a little less straight on. It's been the the edge, the sharp edges have been worn off with time. A little bit smoother, a little bit rounder. Like so. Make it a little thicker here. So I know for most of y'all, this is probably the last Monday you'll have to go to work before break. Um, maybe. Well, I guess not. Not everybody. For the maybe for people who work in like um different business companies and stuff they might still have to work Chara dreamer what is um what's your plans for the the upcoming holiday um, and have you been really busy getting things ready I feel like I've been pretty busy gonna make this one kind of like swell like uh, maybe this p particular piece of wood got um got wet and the wood kind of bulged out a little bit so we're gonna make it Try to make it even rounder looking over here at the end. So in the game, I know at least the the first part of it, like I said, is the only part I've actually played or watched so far. Um, takes place inside of a mountain. So, <coughs> pardon me. So I'm wondering how, yeah, how they would get any kind of wood inside of a mountain, unless they have some sort of trees that grow with no light necessary, or they have some sort of, uh, some sort of, some kind of maybe bioluminescence to uh, help them uh, keep the trees lit, give enough light to them so they can grow.
Um, I know one one video game series, it's like an RPG, that I played a while ago. Um, all takes place basically inside of a, inside of a mountain, inside of a cavern, un, under the earth. And it's where like the em, empire up above, when they don't have anybody who's unlawful, they just throw them in, throw them in the pit. And uh, they have to go live underground. And they have to like survive down there. And there's been so many people who've been been thrown into this underground world that it now has like its own cities and its own uh, marketplaces and things like that. And it talks about they have um, a lot of bioluminescent plants and mushrooms or like the biggest uh, kind of the biggest food available. Um, I wonder if Undertale is similar to that. Although, I mean, they have spider donuts, and spider cider, and I know that one of the people in the beginning they give you a pie. Uh, it's like a butterscotch cinnamon pie. So, um, I mean, they must be getting food from somewhere. If anybody who plays the game can enlighten me, where do the monsters get their food from? This is this is serious. <laughs> we gotta know. It does look like a really charming game so far though, so at some point I'm probably going to get it and play it. I've been watching a lot of um like I was watching videos about, or videos people playing it, but I've also been watching some videos people talking about like some of the background information on it. Um, for example, at, at one point in the game you can find a quiche, like a, a perfectly made quiche underneath a park bench. And apparently that's something that really, like, that's, that's something that really happened to the person who made the game they found a quiche under a park bench. I don't know if they ate it or if they took it. I think if I found a like a homemade meal under a bench out in a public area, I think I would I think I would leave it there. <laughs> Maybe it's there for somebody else to, to find. Maybe it's somebody who like really hates squirrels, and so they're gonna they're gonna like poison the squirrels by making like some poisoned food. Um, but they also want you know they don't want to uh, sacrifice their uh, their their art their cooking. So they still make like a very nice meal, like a whole quiche. In any case, I wouldn't trust food that you find um, sitting out in a public area. Let's see. So there's our sign so far. I don't think it looks too bad. Oh, you know what it needs. Um, how are these? How are these uh, pieces of wood being being affixed to the? the post in the back, we're gonna put some, uh, I guess nails, I guess you'd put nails in it, it's not gonna be, let's put some circles on each, on each nail, or pff, on each plaque. I was about to wonder where they got nails or metal from, but if they live underground, I mean, Probably some. They live inside of a mountain. There's probably some kind of uh, ore, some kind of metal uh, in the rocks in the mountain.
Oh, goodness. <clears throat> You can give me just one minute. I think I am going to go um, get some NyQuil or DayQuil. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, well there's our sign. Um, now assuming we have to write spider bake sale on it. Hmm. you draw something that makes it look like it's uh, make it looks like it make it look like it's painted on I'm not sure exactly I guess we're gonna have to kind of find out hmm. anyway first I'm gonna make sure that I space my letters out enough I have a tendency to not give myself enough space when I'm when I'm writing. Spider. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I've been making every other thing capital. I should probably make the A capital too, huh? <laughs> Spider bake sale. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to draw this particular thing, but just that idea, I don't know, always really stuck with me. The idea of a spider bake sale. Like, I guess the, the food they're making is made out of spiders. The spiders are making food out of spiders and selling it to people to get more or to get money f for the spiders. Something like that. <laughs> what do you guys think? Would you, would you uh, would you have a a spider donut if somebody gave it to you? I might try it. I don't know. I know that some spiders have like the prickly hairs on them that uh can make you um can uh, inflame you. So if I knew, if I knew that those were all taken off. Then maybe I would try a spider donut. <laughs> I don't know though. I'd still. I, I feel like I would still would be pretty hesitant. I've changed my mind about the uh, the shape of the money, the gold, rather. I think I will just make them like normal round coin shapes. And I need to read, now that I'm actually doing this for real, let's do it a little bit nicer. Get my, my eraser all stretched out. I love these kind of erasers. I like to, when I was in art class or something, I like to sort of see how far I could stretch them before they like finally pulled apart. And then after they do, like, they feel so much different instead of being in a big chunk. All right, one more time. Maybe I'm just delaying because I'm not feeling as confident as usual about this particular drawing, but 
Maybe I'd just like to play with the uh, play with these erasers. All right, so <coughs> let's draw our spider web for real this time. Let's have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw first the like the the big, the lead lines as it were. The uh, the big ropes that the uh, of uh, webbing that the spider makes first to uh, kind of put everything else, or to be able to maneuver and put all the sticky parts off first because you know not every part of a spider web is sticky um, only some of the only some of the uh, the webbing is is a uh, is adhesive so that way a spider can move around on their web and not get like stuck to it themselves All right, we're just gonna put in our first layer of inner webbing here, and I think you know it's not gonna be the end of the world if it's not all you know completely in line with itself. In fact, it probably looks it's probably more natural that way to not have it completely symmetrical. So as I know I'm going to have to erase some of these in just a minute anyway to put the gold coins in. I feel like I should look up to see how much, uh, oh, excuse me, how much the, uh, the spider, the spider donut costs so I can put the proper amount of, the proper amount of gold coinage to pay for it. The one thing about Undertale when I was watching it that didn't seem like I would enjoy it very much is the uh, the, the random encounters kind of kind of deal. I've I've never thought that kind of gameplay never found it particularly uh, compelling, as it were. Um, it's it seems annoying more than anything, I guess. Um, it seemed like once you figured out how to uh, how to pacify or how to be friends with uh, with a monster or something, then when that monster just keeps showing up over and over again, it, it gets um, kind of obnoxious having to uh, having to do the same thing over and over again. It's like you already solved the puzzle. Now it's making you solve the puzzle again and again and again. It's like going through a, a Pokemon and going through like a cave and constantly being attacked by Zubats. It's like... It becomes quite an obnoxious. I know that now you can... I think in the, in the newer Pokemon games you can, you can use like a, a, an item, a repel item to keep, uh, to keep the random encounters away from you. Um, which I guess is a good idea to add in because I remember that being very frustrating when I was younger. You know, just running into Zubat after Zubat. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I I don't know if I would use a random in, or a a, a a repel potion like that or repel spray. Um, for fear of missing out on some, something good, on, on a missing out on a Pokemon that I really wanted. Mm. I don't know. It's tricky. It's just you know I just don't like that kind of that 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 kind of gameplay. Um, let me look up real quick. I want to see how much. How much it costs? Seven. It costs. Uh, 
It costs seven gold. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. So I think in the game you just throw the throw the uh, the gold into the spider web. So yeah, that's where I'm just gonna draw draw the gold pieces. One, two, three, four. We have one that fell, fell to the side. One that landed on sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. Let's go in and be a little bit more precise. We're gonna clean these up so they don't look like they're just circles on them. On on. Oh man, I push way, I push down way too hard when I'm drawing. It gives all these lines stay on. Oh, I forgot this one. I've always kind of done that though. I like just like push down really hard on my on my pencil. Drawing coins is hard. <laughs> I know they're not very thick, so I want to make them. I don't want to make them look super thick. Although they are gold coins, I don't know how how thick a gold coin is. Hmm. I'm enjoying the music from the game. I kind of wish I knew the context of it a little bit better. <laughs> um. Let's see though. This song is called Death by Glamour. Interesting. If I if I remember correctly, one of the one of the characters you meet do you do have kind of like a. a Kind of like a dance contest with? It's a weird, quirky kind of game like that. Alright. So even though these are gold coins, I'm going to give them kind of the, uh... Kind of the, uh, the, the edge. Like, like a quarter or something. It's kind of like ruffled. Dent and dents in it. Here's our, our seven gold thrown into the spider's web. I better fix up this uh, these webs to make them look a little bit better. Not bad. All right, let's work on the uh, let's work on the donut. So, what does a spider donut look like? I'm assuming that it's a regular donut shape. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you What do y'all think a spider donut looks like? Um, does it have legs poking out of it? Maybe, or is it kind of like kind of like hairy, like a tarantula, with like little hairs on it? Hmm. 
perhaps it has uh, has uh, teeth or not teeth. <laughs> Spiders don't have teeth, but like um, in a uh, in cartoons and stuff, spiders will have like uh, like little fangs. Maybe it has. Maybe this donut has like little fangs on it. Well, in any case, we have to draw the donut first. Sorry, rough sketch, spider. I'm gonna take you out of the picture. Not gonna get clear working on. I think I'm gonna leave it regular, regular donut shaped instead of you know doing it like a eclair or a, something like that. Oh, a long John. Although, <laughs> that would be pretty gross if it was like a, like a long john and it was like a spider filling inside. <laughs> I don't know. If you all have any suggestion on how I should draw the spider donut from Undertale, let me know in the comments. You can just type it in right there and uh, I'll be able to see it even though there's all, there is like a, uh, like a three minute delay. But... I'm gonna, right now, I'm going to work on making it just like a regular donut. <laughs> Make it a little thickness to it. Might have made it a little bit too chubby up there. I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna not put a line right here to make it maybe look like it's rounder. It's not looking too bad. Ah. It's so much more difficult drawing pictures of things that exist in real life. <laughs> you have to make sure what you're drawing, you know, at least looks a little bit like, uh, like what it's supposed to look like. When you're drawing drawing abstracts, it doesn't matter. It look like anything you want it to be. We'll have to put some shading in there in a little bit. I'm realizing what I've done wrong here is I'm putting, I've messed up the perspective. If I have this top of the inside of the donut visible, then I should have this part of the donut visible as well. Help it look a little bit, look a little bit, a little bit better. Maybe it's the under part of the donut. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I think I am gonna maybe give it um, some like weird little like spider legs sticking out. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's a spider donut. It should probably look a little bit like a spider. At least have some spider parts in it. <laughs> like so. Now, what do you think about my spider donut? <laughs> Probably give it like some, put some like little spider hairs on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. That's something. Gross looking spider donut. All right, now we're gonna do our spider that's carrying it. Make it look nice. We make it like a really chubby spider. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I also want it to look like friendly spider though, because it's I mean it's delivering baked goods to us. So we're gonna give it a smile, like chubby cheeks, and I'm gonna give it like one tooth. Yeah, it's looking. That's it's it's cute looking. One should maybe kind of cute looking. All right, and then with its long spider legs, it is uh, bringing our, holding on to our donut. The spider log will be holding it from behind, so we won't see the front, the tip of it. All right, it's two. It's three creepy spider legs. It's going to be at spinneret. And the string it's coming down from. Two, uh, two of the spider legs are going to be holding, holding on to its string. So I want to say that that's what spiders do. I want to say that they have two legs that kind of help pull the, str the, 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 the the webbing hmm oh you know what I just realized Like, do you think that like this spider killed the other spiders to make the the baked goods for the spider bake sale? Like, maybe this is just like a like a like a terrible spider. Like maybe he's just really mean. And he killed his friends to bake them and sell them. I don't know. 
the sp- the spiders that go into the into the donuts and the the spider cider has to come from somewhere, right? Unless I guess maybe they used previously already deceased spiders. That 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 could be what's going on. Or maybe somebody has trained the spiders to uh to deliver the baked goods. Maybe it's more of like a marketing thing. Maybe they're not really like the baked good isn't really made out of spiders. It's just uh it's just like what they're called. Give him some like fuzzy kind of like hair coming off of his body. Not in anticipation for this or anything, but just random chance. I was actually reading about how tarantulas are cooked, how they're prepared. Apparently, they are. They're the best way to do it is to fry them. Um, that way, the uh, the the hairs on them that cause reactions on people's skin and stuff um, get all um, basically cooked away. But if you were to like just boil them or something like that, the uh, the hairs would stay on, stay intact, and uh, I guess they would inflame your throat. <laughs> if, while you, after you eat, or while you're eating them, that wouldn't be too good. <laughs> oh, there's a spider. Delivering the delicious spider spider donut. Give a little detail on our spider donut there. Oh dear. All right, let's move on to our our big web here. Big spider web. Let's do it. Once again, pushing down too hard on the pencil. y'all think is this looking okay not just this part but the whole thing I'm actually I think it's because I'm not feeling very well I'm feeling kind of sick today but I don't know it seems like my self-confidence is kind of uh, is, is dipping down I'm not feeling quite as assured that I'm doing something interesting What is this music? That was pretty scary sounding. Your best nightmare. This sounds like a uh, sounds a lot like a boss. Pretty scary sounding one. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know, um, an interesting thing about Undertale is that it originally started out as kind of just like this guy. He made a he made first he made a uh, a mod of the uh, the video game. Shoot, now I'm gonna forget it. Earthbound. Is that it? I think that's it. Or Mother Two is what it was called in Japan. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that was that's the one. He made a mod of it, like a Halloween mod, um, to make like a little Halloween story on it. And uh, he actually ended up using one of the songs he wrote for that mod in uh, in Undertale. And then he was also going to be making the um, he was also going to be making uh, a video game version of the online cartoon called Homestuck, which I'm afraid I don't know very much about. But uh, this song's a little annoying, isn't it? But he was going to be working on that, and uh, or he was he was going to be working on that. I know he used some of that, some of the assets that he were he was going to use for that game on Undertale as well. But Undertale kind of came about from like this uh, amalgam of all these different things that he had done, you know, fan fan work and and mods and stuff like that. It's really neat when anybody's, you know, when their uh, their hobbies become like pay off for them, like their passion projects. <laughs> and good for them too, because I understand how stressful that must have been. You put all this work into something, and then it's you're not sure if it's going to go well, if people are going to like it or not. <laughs> it's emotionally turbulent. I'm just going to keep trying, keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully, eventually I'll gain some sort of traction. I keep forgetting to eat before I start doing these things. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. Oh, but I don't know what I should eat. I don't think I really have any leftovers. Hmm. I think we ate all the leftovers. <laughs> Although uh, after this, after I finish, after I finish my stream for today, I'm going to need to uh, go over to World Market and get a couple things uh, for birthday pre or not birthday presents, Christmas presents. <laughs> Um, part of me really says that I should part of me thinks that I should uh, pick up some fast food but try not to eat too much fast food it's not good for you even though it is delicious <laughs> it's really weird I, I, um, I can appreciate like well cooked you know fine fine meals and stuff, and I try to, um, but I can also appreciate, like, the, uh, oh, gosh, I can also appreciate, like, fast food hamburger, or chicken nuggets, <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm getting dizzy, just doing all this. I'll take some tea real quick.
I'd love to hear from you viewers. How are y'all's day going? I hope everything's going great. Um, if you're at work or if you're, oh goodness, or if you're at home, if you just woke up or if you've been awake for hours, well, let me know. I always like to hear from people who are watching. I've been rewatching the show um, Scrubs recently, which uh, I guess it's I, I didn't realize that it was all on Hulu, but um, I really enjoy that show. I like I like the uh, the dark comedy aspect of it. I guess the only parts I don't really like about it is how, um, is like the episodes where, I don't know, a character or something is like super concerned about, like, um, like getting weighed. Those are kind of, those are kind of boring episodes, I think, more generally. Um,. But I like the one that's like, or the part when they have sort of more of the, uh, the hospital-centric drama. It's also 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 appreciate it how not very many TV shows you see characters having a postpartum depression. Um. It's like it's just not. That's not a topic you see come up, you see come up very often, in in, a, in in TV shows, and they did it in their show, and that that's gets props from me. <laughs> There's our spider, our big spider web. I think I'm going to need to uh, make this uh, this line here where the wall meets the uh, where the wall meets the floor a little bit more pronounced. Now it is a brick wall, so I'm gonna give a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of like a brick detail <laughs> in here. There's like one or two parts. I wouldn't want to go through the whole thing and. Um, <coughs> draw on every single brick that would take way too long I can just give the impression of bricks that would be good kind of like that oh dear Let's put a little shading. Um, 
Put a little shading on our spider webs here. Make it look like this is the inside of the spider web, like it's kind of concave. Yes, but then we're gonna bring it out a little bit too. Put some shadow underneath these coins. Put a little bit of shadow here in the middle of this big spider web. Not looking too bad there. I don't want to make it too heavy in shadow. Just a little bit of shadow. Put some shadow behind this behind this guy. And the donut will need some too. Isn't too bad. Spider big sale. So I know that I normally do my streams from 9 until 12, but I'm not feeling super great today. I think I'm going to end my stream early. Um, I'm sorry about that, uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm just feeling pretty rough. I think I need to go get myself some, uh, some uh, cold medicine from the store. Um, I will... I will not be streaming on Wednesday because I'm going to my son's Christmas party at his school. Uh, but I will be doing it again on Friday at 9, hopefully until 12. Um, <laughs> um, I'll probably have lots of interruptions though because my kids will be out of school by then so they will be home here with me. Um, Maybe I can have them help me out, help me draw or something. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. This is here's our our spider bake sale. Um, before I go, I am gonna get put a little bit of texture on the floor here.
um, just so it stands out just a tad. Make it stand out a little bit. All right, our Undertale Spider Bake Sale. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think it's kind of goofy. I need to probably go back to my more stylized version of uh, drawing things instead of trying to draw them um, more realistically. But in any case, I don't think it turned out too bad. Well, thank you for watching. Um, if you like, I put all of my pictures on Instagram under uh, Inky Inspiration. Uh, this was Jeremy, and I hope you have a pleasant rest of your day. And hopefully I will see you on Friday. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.